welcome to today's video. So today we are talking about the top seven places to hang out with your kids right here in Memphis. And so these are solely in my opinion, but if you're someone looking to move to the area, I would think this is pretty important information that would be helpful. So if it is, just sound off in the comments for me below. I'm gonna be covering quite a few places just across the city, letting you know where they are and stick around to the end because you're definitely going to want to check out my last pick that I think is just absolutely incredible. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're kicking it off with number one, jumping jelly beans. This is a soft play area located in the Carriage Crossing Outdoor Shopping Mall area right in Collierville, which is actually a suburb of Memphis. I haven't discussed Collierville or talked about it on my channel yet, but a video on that is coming soon. But Jumping Jelly Beans is, a, like I said, it's a soft play area for kids. So once you walk in, it has a huge ball pit that has some different obstacles on it. And it's good for all ages. Uh, there's another area where they have like this huge like doll house or house with a kitchen. It's actually like a wooden house. There's another area that is a specifically a toddler area. I believe it's from ages like two to five, or I'm sorry, just under five years old. And so it, it's padded on the floor. It has um, these huge colorful like little obstacles. So, and there's so much more just other than that as well. But we love this. We've been there quite a few times. My husband actually recently took her there and I noticed that they changed out some of the, like they changed out all the balls in the ball pit, so they're now like blippy colors, which is like orange and blue. And they changed out some of the obstacles as well. So it's nice to know that they keep it clean, they change out some of the toys when they get worn down. So the cost is $20 for my daughter and I, and you can actually stay there as long as you want. Oh, I also forgot to mention, they also have like this little cafe area. I haven't seen where they like serve, you know, food and drinks, but there's that little cafe area where you can sit and eat and, you know, bring a snack with you. So that's pretty convenient as well. So if you're in the Collierville area, like hanging out, doing some shopping, I highly suggest, or if you're moving to that area, I highly suggest checking out Jumpin' Jelly Beans. So number two, we have the Children's Museum of Memphis. So this is actually located right outside of Midtown. I finally checked out this museum a few months ago and really enjoyed it. Now I do prefer the Children's Museum in Houston, but this is actually a really nice one. There's so much to do there. It's not overwhelming for parents when you Try, trying to navigate the museum, making sure you hit every single thing, but there's so much that's there. There's a splash pad available, a toddler area, a huge carousel, and there's also like a grocery, a Kroger grocery store. And so it doesn't say the name Kroger on it, but it's all like Kroger products. And so where your kids can just go and grab a little cart and they can pick out, you know, items. And at the end, there's actually a cash register. You can scan them. Uh, check out their groceries and they'll even get a receipt after but very interactive and so I really enjoyed this place my daughter enjoyed it so so much so this is a fun outing to go to and so the cost of admission is $15 over the age of one and there's also a $4 fee for parking as well for non-members okay so number three located in Bartlett is pump it up pump it up just basically consists of a ton of bounce houses and so they have some huge ones with slides and some other ones that are kind of like an obstacle course and so different kind of bounce houses that are set up people can have parties there if they want and it's very convenient they have like a toddler playtime tuesdays and thursdays from like 10 to 12 p.m and so the cost of that is $10. And then also they'll have open jump uh, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. on those same days as well. And then the cost of that is $12. And, and that is just for the children. So parents aren't charged anything. So like Jumpin' Jelly Beans, I also noticed that, that they have changed out some of their bounce houses as well when they get worn down. So that's nice because they're kind of just switching it up and changing it up so the kids don't get bored. So anyway, the other benefit to where Pump It Up is, is that it's actually located right next door 
to the TCBY, uh, TCBY frozen yogurt place. And after you're done at the bounce house, you can go right next door, grab some yogurt, and then something for you parents or moms right next door to the TCBY is a Hobby Lobby. So there you have it, uh, very convenient. So after you're done hanging out with the kids, um, then you can zip on over to Hobby Lobby and of course go shopping there. So highly suggest Pump It Up. Now I will say the downside to Pump It Up is the fact that they aren't open like every day. Their schedule is pretty tight. So really you're gonna see those Tuesdays and Thursdays for that toddler playtime and the open jump. But weekends they pretty much have reserved for private events or birthday parties. I still suggest you know, even during the summer and even during the school year, you have some opportunity, whether in the morning or the afternoon, to, to get that time in. Now, this next one is so amazing and it is absolutely free. Yes, free. So, before we get into it and I let you know what that place is, definitely subscribe below if you love learning all about the Memphis area. And I don't just cover suburbs here, I want to talk all about Memphis and uh, everything that it has to offer which is what this video is bringing you so if you like this kind of content definitely subscribe below my name is Natasha I am a real estate agent here uh, in the Memphis area and in Northwest Mississippi and so I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make the move to the area so whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days give me a call shoot me a text I'd love to be able to help you make the smooth move to Memphis so number four, this is located in Cordova and let me pause here for a second. So I've mentioned this in another video, but Cordova and Bartlett are like this. They are so close together. So, um, which is, which is pretty great because there's so much to do in Cordova and so much to do in Bartlett. And I find that it's kind of like the middle of town. So anyway, I'm going to make a whole video covering both of those locations, of course, but just to kind of give you a little bit of knowledge of where Cordo Cordova and Bartlett are in Memphis. So Creation Station, this is actually located, like I said, it's located in Cordova and it is inside of Bellevue Baptist Church, which is a very popular church here in the Memphis area. And so it's located in the east entrance of Bellevue. And so it is free to the public. You do not have to be a member of the church. Now, when you go for your first time, you are going to fill out a registration form, but they, they're not going to spam you. I've never received anything from them in terms of like a bunch of flyers or phone calls or anything like that. And it's basically just so that when you go in, you can check your child in and yourself in as well. So they just use it to kind of keep track of who is coming. But when you first walk in, there is this huge area that has, I mean, it's just like this huge jungle gym area. And so it's pretty impressive. There's all kinds of obstacles and slides and so much for the kids. In the middle section, there's a bunch of like tables and chairs for parents to kind of sit and hang out. And they also have like a little cafe area where they serve drinks and food while your kids are hanging out and playing. And then if you go a little bit further back, Back, you will find a toddler room a toddler area and so let me tell you what I love about this room okay and I, other parents you will probably can attest to this is that the room is big enough there's there's one way in same way out and so it has like this little obstacle area and it's big enough and small enough to where you can actually like sit back on the wall but see the entire room while your child is playing and so you don't have to worry about them like getting out or anything because like I said there's one way in same way out I highly recommend uh, creation station 100% the other thing is is that there's two playgrounds outside uh, in the same east entrance so you don't have to go east entrance so you don't have to go all the way like over the whole church because it's a huge campus so there's a little playground for bigger kids and one for toddlers and they're right next to each other which is very very convenient I love that there's a security guard that is always driving the parking lot there's one that's always manning the front door walking around so you know there's that as well and the other thing is is that the hours they are open 
Monday through Thursday, uh, I think like 9 a.m. and to like 7.30 p.m. most days, which is very, very convenient. So for those of you who may, who may get off of work late, the hours are very convenient. Weekends, they are not open. They're closed for private events and parties. This is free and I highly suggest checking it out for sure. Okay, so number five, the Memphis Zoo. This is definitely one place you have to visit. I know most cities do have zoos, but I will tell you that I think that the Memphis Zoo is pretty impressive. I like how they have it laid out. It's very nice. Um, they always have something going on there. And so when you first walk in, you'll find like this little it's kind of like this little river, it's just water, you know, anytime there's water and a bunch of kids, like kids are gonna like hang out and play with it. So it's water splashing around everywhere. So a lot of kids enjoy that, and like as soon as you walk in. But not only is it the typical, you know, there's animals to see, but there's so many other things as well. There's like a sea lion show, uh, giraffe feeding, like different little like extra exhibits. And they also, I believe it was last year, finally opened up, I know that it's new, they opened up a splash pad and it is huge. And so we haven't gone, we're definitely gonna um, make it out this year. I remember taking my daughter when they were like, it was under construction. And so anyway, I've heard that it's a lot of fun. And so you definitely gotta check out the zoo for sure. So the other thing that's great about the zoo is I know that they have uh, like special events, like specifically in the fall and in the holidays that a lot of people in the community enjoy. And I hear about over and over again, I believe it's zoo lights during Christmas time. And uh, they have something for Halloween as well. But if you plan on going like more than twice a year, you definitely want to consider getting a membership. And two visits, uh, depending on how many are in your party, like one or two visits is going to pay for the cost of a membership. I know that when we had a membership last year, it was $100 for our household. General admission and cost of parking is definitely it's just gonna make more sense to get a membership. So definitely think about that. But for residents in Tennessee, they actually have free museum days. So every single Tuesday, if you are a resident of Tennessee, then all you have to do is show your ID card and, or show your driver's license, um, and you would be able to get in for free. So that is definitely a benefit. Other museums in the city do it as well, but I know that the zoo is part of that program. So highly suggest that. Now the other thing about that is, or the caveat rather, is that it might be busy, but it's just a way to get in a free museum day. And so I am gonna link the information below about like how to get a membership or how to sign up for a membership or what that all includes, because there's some parts or some exhibits, even the splash pad that does not, uh, that is not included in the membership to the zoo, but uh, I'm gonna link that information below so you can check it out. And also with every place that I've talked about and mentioned here, I'm definitely gonna link it below so you can have easy access. And of course, if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll be sure to answer you. And speaking of splash pad, I'm gonna go all the way up. If you are moving to or going to be living near the Tipton County area in Atoka or the Millington area, then there's definitely something up there for you guys. It is the Atoka Splash Pad, and so which actually opens up a Memorial Day. I'm filming this a few days before Memorial Day, but it opens up Memorial Day all the way through Labor Day. And so that is a pretty popular splash pad as well. And so a lot of residents up there uh, enjoy it so much. And so we haven't been, I know we're definitely gonna be checking it out. So it's also pretty affordable as well. And so you definitely wanna check that out, get the information. If you need more information, uh, you can visit the, this website here and it is going to tell you everything there is to know about that, uh, about the splash pad. You'll want to make sure to look at that website to check out the calendar because I know that sometimes it's closed for private events and parties, but it's definitely a good one that I've heard. And so a lot of moms love uh, taking their kids to the Atoka splash pad. Okay, and this last one, I've never been yet, but we're 
definitely planning on checking it out. I absolutely love their mission. This is uh, located in Cordova. This is called We Rock the Spectrum Kids Gym. So this gym's purpose is all about providing a place for children of all ability levels to play and grow. And they specialize in giving children with special needs or learning disabilities a fun and supportive environment to play. They have many specialized pieces of sensory equipment and their website actually breaks down the benefits of each piece so you can check it out. But there's also an option of open play as well for kids who may not have a diagnosis. But all in all, I love the mission. I love what they're doing. And I love reading the reviews from parents that feel a relief of even for a moment just not having or not feeling the pressure of a stigma maybe because their child has a learning disability or you know autism and so I really really enjoy just what they're doing here they actually call it a gym for all kids or a gym where you don't or a play gym where you don't have to say I'm sorry but anyway love this love how inclusive they are for uh, all kids and so you can definitely check it out but anyway there you have it in my opinion some of the best places to hang out with your kids and so there are so much more I definitely have more to cover and I'll cover in another video but like I said, if you are uh, looking to move to the area, I know that and if you have kids, this is pretty important information for you to know. I look forward to making more videos about Memphis, not just covering the suburbs and areas, but also talking about things like this, talking about the city. And so best things to do, best things to eat, hidden gems. So definitely stay tuned for more videos about that. And you guys, thank you so much for subscribing to all of my subscribers and those who are about to subscribe. Uh, I appreciate Appreciate you all of you guys that call me uh, uh, okay now I'm just going on and on and on okay. thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye